Hi everyone, welcome to BIM Guru. In this video, we'll discuss about model groups, detail groups, and uh, how we can create those ones and what are the uses of those ones. So, uh, firstly, we'll discuss about model groups. So, uh, how we can create the model group first of all? Let's discuss about that one. So, if I'll see in architectural tab right here, we have uh, under model, we have the option of model groups. There are three features. We'll discuss about these three options, how we can use those ones. And if there is another way to create the model groups, we'll discuss on that one as well. So as name says, model group means uh, it, is, it is related to the 3D part of modeling, right? So for example, if you are having some 3D elements, uh, those we, we, we have to use uh, at different, different locations, but the arrangement will be same. So in that scenario, what we can do is that we can create a model group of all those elements and we can, uh, you know, uh, use the same model group at different, different locations. So how we can create that thing. So one thing is that I'll click on model group right there. Click on create group. I will give the name of the group, like for example, MG1 as of now. Click on OK. Now, uh, whatever I want to do create, I can create it right there. So I'll click on PX command so that I can paste some plumbing fixture things. For example, these four plumbing fixtures, I want to, you know, create a model group of all these four. So I'll click on finish. Now it's a model group. Now if I'll come right here, let me delete uh, the others so that you'll have a better understanding. So right now we have just created that MG1. You can see right here. Uh, now, if I'll drag it, I can, you know, paste it at different, different locations. So that's one thing uh, by dragging that one. Let me control Z the things. Yeah. Also, uh, one more feature, click on place model group. The same thing will be applied. Okay. Now we'll discuss about that third part later, but I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about model group features. So if I'll double click on the model group we have three features i have already discussed about attach feature in a very detailed manner in my previous video so if you did not check that one please check that one that is very useful if it comes uh, for model group tagging okay so you can check that one now there are two features add and remove for example you have created a model group in that one you have four elements and now you have pasted the same model group 100 times right so you cannot you know it will be very difficult to delete you know 100 uh, elements correct what you can do in that scenario you can just uh, remove this particular one from right here it will be removed from all the uh, places wherever you have used the same model group how are you going to do that thing so for example let me paste it at different different locations. There are two things I'll tell you. So first of all, you want to delete this one. So what you can do, you can just simply come right here and you can delete that one. Click on finish. It will be deleted from others as well. Okay. But for example, you want to modify that one. You want to move it from right here to right there. The same thing will be applied in all. Got it? I guess it is very confusing. So let me delete uh, some so that you can see the difference. Okay. And let me make it in one direction. When these four are okay, I guess. Okay. Now let me change it. For example, I want to make it. Uh, right here okay click on finish now you can see the change correct also for example if you want to remove this one from this particular group what you want to do uh, you know paste uh, the mob at the same location wherever you are using the same group so what you can do is that you can click on remove select the element that you want to remove from this particular group click on ok now, if you will go with this particular group, there will be only three, um, what we can say, mobs uh, in the particular group because you have removed that one. 
but uh, uh, if you want to add that one again okay how you can add that one double click on the model group click on add click on that element finish click on yeah, that's different thing. now you can see it it will be added in all the model group which are having the same name okay so that is also about model group thing now uh, the final thing about model group is load as group into uh, open projects so uh, what you can do that in that scenario and what is the use of that one first of all so let me create some more groups or let me duplicate that one let me delete this one first of all and uh, let me duplicate this one so that you can see the difference mg sorry mg2 fine so now i have created two model groups right there correct but uh, i have only one model group right there and i want to just uh, you know just uh, add the same model group mg2 right mg2 into one more project so what i'll do uh, i'll open the another project in same session so let me create one more project yeah and this one we are not having any model group as of now so as you can see we are not having any model group right so what i'll do i'll go in that project i wanted to go with mg2 but I'm not going with MG1. So what I'll do, I'll click on model group right there, load as group, uh, the project that I have opened, that is project three. If you are having multiple projects, it'll show the projects right there. I wanted to go with attached detail only. I'm not going with levels and grids. Click on okay. Now if you'll see in this one, you are having MG2 right there, correct? In the project one, from project one, we just extracted the MG2, not MG1. If you want mg1 as well just add mg1 uh, right here in the layout and you can have the mg1 as well in another project so that is very simple now all those kind of things right there you can do you can ungroup this one now you can have all the features of that one as well okay control z group and group things you can do right for example if you are ungrouping this one and you are thinking you need again them as a group select all those elements click on create group right there and give the name it will be created fine so that's all about model groups uh let let's come on detail group part then so detail group means uh, if you are mentioning any detail any annotation things uh, at different different locations but uh, the detail will be same so you can use the detail group at that moment so for example let's create some annotations right there and uh, we'll, we'll go with that way or what we can do is that for example the same architectural tab under model group click on create group there is one more option detail group click on that one give name as d v dg sorry dg1 okay and create something create something means text lines whatever you want so i'll click on text i'll add the guru fine finish now you can see this is our drill group dg1 same thing we can duplicate it or can create multiple uh, groups right there as well if you want to add it something double click on that one you can add it the tags right there okay if you want to add more tag what you can do is that double click let me copy paste this one add more text revit fine and finish now you can see same thing again it will come under detail group you can paste it at different different locations if you will add it one all will be reflected if if all those are having the same group okay uh, also we can ungroup it 
you can again group it if you want just click on that one click on modify tab create group whatever the name like dg2 maybe fine now the same thing you can also copy paste something like that perfect so these all are about mall groups and detail groups i guess you got the idea for example if you want to use uh, uh what we can say a, a, a model group with having names or something like that but you want to show in 3d this this you cannot show in 3d because this is a detail group right so you want some text as a 3d how you can do that thing in that scenario uh, we have to use model text so in our ritual tab we are having model text feature click on that one mention whatever you want to have so I'll click on bem guru let me paste right there so it uh, we can see model text in 3d and 2d in both the scenario let me change the discipline uh, from mechanical to coordination fine uh, i'll select the model text go in 3d you can see right here let me change to coordination fine shaded perfect now uh, you can select on that one click on create group it will be model group not detail group okay so i'm not giving any proper name but yeah definitely and now you can copy paste this one at multiple location wherever you want something like that why it is showing because i guess we have applied section box fine now so i guess uh, you are having a better understanding about detail group and model group now so that's all about uh, this video guys let's meet in my next video thanks a lot for watching